why I think no self-respecting musician or an artist should use Spotify or similar uh, purely streaming services to sell their music online. So Spotify is everywhere nowadays. And I've been discovering uh, some beautiful artists uh, on YouTube. Uh, and, and then I asked them, where can I buy your tracks? Could you give me a Bandcamp link or something? And they say, well, here's Spotify. We don't have a Bandcamp. And I think, how so? Like, how's, how is Spotify helping me? Because what I'm actually um, looking for, I'm looking for a local copy. I want to buy that music and I want to download the file and I want to listen to it uh, on my device. When, let's say, there's no internet, I still need music. Or better yet, um, I buy a vinyl, a local copy, like I bought this uh, beautiful uh, vinyl of Windhand uh, off of Bandcamp, and I also keep my digital file. Um, and they say, well, we don't have a Bandcamp. Why? What does Spotify give you other than nothing? So uh, what is a Spotify? Essentially, it's a radio. It's like a radio that you pay to listen to. That's what it is. It's similar to, uh, remember there was, there was this last.fm website for quite a while. Uh, back in the day, some five or, or eight years ago, it was still there. And I couldn't realize why are people using it because it didn't allow to download anything. It didn't sell anything, it just recommended, and there was this bunch of, you know, buttons that didn't really do anything, and everybody was using it, and I couldn't understand why. What's the, what's the point of this last FM? There was also like a radio, uh, where you could just listen and then share with some friends, but you never download anything, you never buy anything. And then it died, uh, like it was supposed to. And now we have Spotify, just like that, just like that last .fm thing, which doesn't really sell you anything. It just sells you a listen. It's like a radio again. Um, people of, of like my parents' generation, they remember the time where there was no music available. Uh, there, was, there were no vinyls, there were no tapes, uh, especially in the countries like USSR, where there was a policy to ban certain music and you couldn't get it or you could even could, could get arrested to, to, for ownership of that music. So there was this stupid uh, crap going on. And people were using radio to listen to music. And those who wanted to have this music available locally, they used tape recorders to record that music from the radio. And that's how you basically downloaded your music from the air. You kept it in a local copy on a tape. And that was a lifesaver. Because if you don't have radio, you, you can have you can listen to a tape on a tape recorder or a vinyl, if you have a vinyl and the vinyl player and a turntable. Um, so Spotify is like radio, but it doesn't allow you to have a local copy. Uh, many people um, will criticize streaming services um, at, like in general, like Kindle, for instance, uh, which also kind of you buy a book, but it does allow you to have a local copy on a on a telephone or on a Kindle reader. And many authors, they are generous enough to forego their uh, digital rights management uh, option, and they allow to redistribute and to, to make as many copies of the uh, book file as you want. Spotify doesn't allow you to have that. And it's puzzling me, really. Why are musicians using it? Okay, I used Spotify several times when I didn't know what it really is. I thought it was like Bandcamp when it turns out, well, far from it. So I think Bandcamp is a much, much better service than any of the streaming services. Why? Because first of all, they allow you to have uh, downloads, to download a local file, to buy merchandise, to buy cassettes, to buy tapes, uh, vinyls, um, t-shirts, whatever. They've been so generous during the COVID times. Remember when there was these dumb lockdowns? Uh, 
Bandcamp showed a much better side of such services than anyone else because they allowed musicians to have all their profits. They didn't take anything from uh, the sales for a year or more. And that is a very good, you know, behavior. And I think it should be, uh, you should be, we should be thankful for that. We should show our loyalty to services like that because that's a great thing. What Spotify does is a completely different story. Uh, if you can, you can read it online. There are lo several lawsuits against Spotify because they are frauds. They defraud musicians uh, from their profits. They cut their streams just out of nothing because, because we can do it because we're a private company. And what are you going to do? So there are lawsuits. And I think Spotify deserves a much worse treatment from musicians and creators than just, you know, giving them all their rights, they're giving them all their content, do whatever you want with it. So why local files are important? Why to having a local copy is important? Well, I don't know about you, but I was in situations where there was no internet. I was in a terrible situation uh, where my city was occupied by aggressive enemy and, and there was war going on around and I had to hide in like basements and stuff and play this real-time stealth gaming among the warfare going on. And so not to go crazy, you know, completely, I had to, I had to have a little bit of music. And many of us who uh, were hungered down here in, in basements and hiding, you know, we, need, we needed a little bit of music sometimes not to go completely insane and reading. So music and books actually saved my life several times because I kept uh, a secret telephone with a little bit of a power bank and I had my local files of books and I had my local files of music stored in it. And that was the only thing. So if I would rely on Spotify or things like that, I would not have music. I would not have books in there because there was no internet. There was nothing. There was no electricity. Um, and that's why when I like an artist, when I ask them, could you please give me a, like a link to your sales? Where can I buy your tracks? I don't ask them for Spotify. I don't want to buy their listens, you know, a broadcast. I'm not buying a radio. I want to buy content, like a, a local copy. And um, Spotify doesn't provide you that. And I think that's not a good thing. I think that musicians have to forgo things like Spotify uh, for multiple reasons. As I said, they're frauds. It's beneath you to use fraudulent services that don't, don't even allow to, to buy a local copy to download anything. Um, there's another thing, you know, now we are entering this crazy age of AI where there will be a, an onslaught, an avalanche of AI-generated stuff more and more. Like already, you see Facebook is turning into a dumpster of AI-generated uh, crap. Like you don't even know who's posting this. Is it a real video? And more and more, it's not a real video. It's a deep fake, uh, how we call them. And there will be more and more of it. So brace yourselves. It's just coming. Um, of course, there will be cool stuff with AI generated um, material. Like you could download, you can order uh, music you want. Like I want a new Depeche Mode album with James Hetfield singing on a couple of songs. And I want Beatles uh, to be playing with them in a couple of songs. Boom, click, $10, here you go. So there'll be stuff like that, I think. And movies as well. Like I want a David Fincher film with Al Pacino starring um, some other actors that you want. And I want the film to be like uh, 30 minutes long. Click. $15, here you go. So there'll be stuff like that. But in terms of human creativity, I think there should be a haven. There should be a place for purely human creativity where only human-generated content uh, is there, no AI. And I think Bandcamp deserves to be that kind of haven, you know. And 
Spotify and stuff like Spotify should be reduced. They deserve it. They should be reduced to that AI generated crap. It was like a, a bog of all stuff AI. That's what they deserve, and that what that what what should they should their niche be? Okay. So human generated stuff and human uh, artists, human musicians deserve better than Spotify. They deserve better. So please don't use Spotify. Use Bandcamp. Share your music. Sell your music through Bandcamp. Erase Spotify from your devices. Abandon them. Ignore them. They deserve this treatment a long time ago. Okay? So don't uh, make a disservice to yourself as a creator. Don't give in uh, to these corporate uh, grab, money grabbing tendencies. Just don't do that. Okay? Don't allow them. And ignoring Spotify is one of the ways you can do it. So please use Bandcamp. Please create a human-generated uh, uh, material haven so that it doesn't mix, get mixed in with AI. And Bandcamp is a place like that. So cheers. Um, keep up the good job.